There I was, once again at the family reunion in full battle rattle with the boys checking for enemy action and casserole while I was doing a bit of doom scrolling. And as clockwork, GW, like EA or Activision, gave me exactly that in the midst of a Kill Team article. And I read through it because it was like, eh, what's this? And I'll put the little blurb up right now. Here it is. From now on, every Kill Team will receive consistent update, updated rules for two editions. Updates will be quarterly, blah, blah, blah. Every team will remain in product in the product range for full four seasons, so four years. You get a unit that's going to be in production for four years. And it should be supported somewhere around six in rules. And here's the, the, here's the little kicker. Though they can be longer or shorter as required, and this is to ensure a manageable range that we can keep in stock. With a little blur, a little star under it. Oh goody! Hey guys, welcome to the DLCification and DLCification of the hobby. It's the uh, horse armor of our times and our hobby. And the thing is, at the end of the day, I was looking at this and I'm like, wow, this is not a good thing because Kill Team, as far as I'm concerned, is the trial balloon, the testing ground, the uh, experimental rat for 40k. This is something they will surely bring over in time to 40k and have already kind of made several steps in that direction. <clears throat> And I saw absolutely no one talk about it. We got all the flashy stuff like fem studs, the uh, the constant calls for female space marines, all of the the dumb lore changes, and the range room models that you either like them because you like tall guys or air quote realistic dudes or you hate them because well primaries are kind of like a death of creativity oh that could be a horse heresy book the death of creativity uh, <laughs> sorry but um it is in a way we've gotten some of these elements and i think this is a testing ground of can we get away with supporting some of these units and then cutting the rules within an edition or just slightly after an edition. So, you know, all of those dumb Primaris units that came out in the first wave because they were totally not going to replace the normal Marines, dudes. Like anyone with a brain actually believed that. And if you did, I'm so sorry. Uh, it gives them a perfect opportunity to just start calling units as they do or do not want to support them. Oh, that unit's not selling? Bam, it's gone. Let's replace it with our new FOMO idea. And I was just sitting there thinking, holy cow. I am one of those people who said that the reasons why GW has done so well is that for a very long time, you could get a set of models and you could be assured... For the most part, not in all the cases, there are several cases where this didn't work. You could generally play it no matter what the edition was. If you had some Rogue Trader Air Beaky Marines, you just maybe rebase them and you could still use them. They were short, but they were still able to be used. And so on and so on. Now, we've had units that have gone out and not been continued or uh, maintained. Yeah, that happens with some ranges and people kind of expect it. It's sh shitty and not exactly something people love. But it wasn't something as blatant as we're seeing here where there is, if I can get my count right on this one, there are... For 10, 14 t boxes that they plan on calling from this production line, which includes such favorites as Pathfinders, the Legionaries, the Blooded, the Tef Corp, and the Orc Commandos, amongst a couple others. So if you're interested in any of those, I'd suggest getting a box. And I was like, holy cow. Imagine if this was beca became something that 
became the norm. And I was like, well, they have a huge line of Primaris where they're simply just churning them out at ever increasing paces. Well, it'd be really easy if you get people to accept something like something's only supported for four years and then just dump it and then you get something new. Well, you have a faction that's perfectly set up for this in 40k. So let's say it's successful with Kill Team. What faction when they do it? The primary Space Marines. That way they can just constantly say, oh, well, Crawl decided that that wasn't going to be a set of uh, equipment and so on that was going to uh, ma be maintained. So it, it's gone. And then you can move it on to all these other ranges. But for the most part, it's needed in a regard for Space Marines because with the death of the air quote firstborn, all restraint, all um, thoughtfulness being used to produce that line is gone with the Primaris because the Primaris are simply an excuse to open the floodgate, to generate as many units as possible, no matter how ridiculous or stupid they are, sell them t in the temporary with some overpowered rules, and then in a few years call them completely from the line and replace them with something new. And it's one of those things that made me go, well, this really does line up with my philosophy, or theory if you prefer, that GW moved from a line of keeping a consistent tone and tenor to uh, the setting, air quote, what you would see all with the Space Marines. Though there were some really dumb and unneeded uh, additions to them, their core set, which is in a lot of cases what I think should have been maintained, was uh, pretty consistent and it did exactly what most armies of Marines needed and was fairly flexible. Now we've moved away from that where they're just like, make a unit of Primaris something every quarter and sell it. No matter how stupid it is or redundant it is or any of that. And then in four years, you could just dump the damn thing. And then in two editions, you don't even have to care about the rules anymore. Because after that, there would be very few people even probably fielding the dang things. It's just an excuse to churn out models at a rate that makes me quite concerned for um, the capability of this universe to maintain. Air quote, this, the setting of 40K. I think this is the burnout phase that 3D printing and competition is starting to get a little too fierce. And that it's starting to be that, well, we want to move into be a multimedia company and we don't care about the miniatures. Just print out the things that seem the most popular and sell them. And I'd even say that even though I really love the Krieg and I'm glad they're going to get a revamp for the main game. Did they need to be a separate army that's probably going to have a codex and an entire line? Doesn't it just seem a little bit like they're just bilking you where they could have just said, hey, we're going to produce um, some kits that fall in line with various units within the military or the, uh, the Imperial Guard. And you can just simply use the Krieg and then here's a, a few rules additions in, a, in the book. Bam, you got it. As opposed to being a full on new army. Um, at least that's what the roadmap has led us to believe and some of what they said in it. Um, yeah, I don't think we're in a good position. And when you're in a situation where you're going, look, if Kill Team is getting this bloated and they're starting to do this seasons and, oh, well, the models will be supported for X number of seasons and then X amount of additions. And you're like, this is going to happen to 40K. When you invited the the tournament folks to be in the rules team when you've continuously pushed to make it into more and more of a board game this is where we're going ladies and gentlemen and it's really sad to see and i know it's not as flashy as uh, complaining about roided up uh, lady f custodes or whatever dumbass shit is currently going like oh let's put sargon in the lore and it's like that seems really petty and stupid 
But what can you say in this time and day? I would uh, suggest people pay close attention because I think we are go moving into uh, late stage 40K as a, a certain board on Reddit would try to say about other things. I don't think this is a good way for things to go. And it's quite sad to see it going. And I'm kind of shocked more people didn't pick up on it and see this as something that could in time come right over to 40k. Especially if it's successful in kilting. So thanks for joining me and have a fantastic day. Bye bye.